welcome to my channel colder vlogs so in this video i will be teaching you how to implement slaver app bar in flutter so in this video i will also give you a code example uh, to implement uh, slaver app bar so you will understand it more clearly so first of all what is slaver app bar slaver app bar is a widget uh, for custom app bar so with that custom app bar you have flexible and additional feature uh, for uh, scrolling app bar or collapsible app bar so you can control the scroll feature and you can also add the collapsible app bar feature uh, with the help of slaver app bar right so it has additional features and uh, here are the some uh, properties uh, for the slaver app bar you can use that to customize your slaver app bar you can also add flexible background in the app bar and set its custom uh, list so this is simple uh, explanation so i will tell you in the code so you can understand uh, more about the slaver app bar right so here are the properties so you can use these properties to customize your slaver app bar according to your requirements and needs right so now i will start with coding and i will open my visual studio code so now let's implement slaver app bar in code so you can see here there is a property widget uh, called scaffold and it has property called body and it has empty container let's remove empty container and we will add here custom scroll view widget uh, we are adding this widget because it has one property called uh, slaver so we will use that so slaver uh, property uh, require a list of widgets so in this uh, list we will pass uh, two widgets number one widget is sliver app bar and the second one is uh, sliver body and which name is uh, sliver list so basically you can see here uh, i use the property i use the widget of uh, custom scroll view then it has built-in property of slaver and slaver accept uh, widgets so eight here i define two widgets number one is slaver app bar which is basically the header of the page and we can customize customize uh, the header uh, according to our needs like we can add uh, flexible background image or background color with uh, custom uh, height and width which I will show you in the video later and this is the body of the page right so you can see here it require delegate so in delegate we will pass lever child builder delegate as it is a builder so builder require two things and that is context and index and add here we will use a widget called list style so list style has its own custom uh, properties like uh, text like title or colors uh, which you will see in the output like how this widget is lo look like so it is also built in widget you can use it so i am using it as for demo purpose okay so this is the header and this is the body so let's uh, add code in the list style first define the title as a uh, index in title we pass widget of text and add here we will use index right and let's uh, decide the uh, color tile color so add here we will use some conditions like uh, suppose if this index 
number is even so uh, it should show white color otherwise if the index is odd so it sh should show any like it should show green color so suppose 8 here let me write the logic for it index then it completely divided by 2 so which means that it is even number then let's write if else for that then the color would be white else the color would be uh, green right so this is simple logic okay boss okay this is done and add here in the app bar I will use a uh, flexible space where I will use uh, flexible space bar so flexible space bar is also visited with uh, some uh, properties with some uh, more features with that features you can customize your design more so I will simply use here title like slaver sorry like text so in the text I will use slaver app bar then let's make the title centered and uh, that's it for now so now let's add the number of item to be shown to be added in the builder so for that we will use the uh, slaver child builder delegate so let's uh, see that so over here let's decide child count and we will pass 100 over here so this uh, child count means that it should show uh, 100 uh, less style in the body right so the items of uh, list style will be 100 in the body you will understand in the output demo more accurately so let me run this program and show you the demo so the application is run successfully you can see that this is the uh, header which is the slaver app bar and this is the body which is the uh, slaver list and also if you want to make the app bar to be here and it should not removed when I scroll up like this so you can use the property called uh, pin to true and then refresh the application so when I move it up so now you can see that app bar the header is not going move up so you can also do that by by using this pin property pin property and you can use more property to customize your header like you can the, uh, make the size of the app bar uh, bigger I have example code uh, in which uh, we are using a background image and we are using expanded height and so let me use that we have also action action is uh, you can set icons after the uh, title like you see here there's a title so after title you can also add uh, widgets here by help of this property called action and there is one more property called leading uh, you can use this property to add widget uh, over here before the title so let me copy this uh, code and show you that how it is looking okay I just paste code over here and run the application and you can see here there is action there is a uh, background image in the header in the app bar and you can see there is a design code over here for the text so you can see the demo this is the demo yeah. this is the app bar uh, with the background image and when we move the uh, list above then the header is uh, gone and with some animation so you can customize it more and it looks very nice so this is slaver app bar uh, thank you for watching the video see you in the next video bye bye